Greetings and welcome back to another edition of the End Time Watchman. And the title of our program today is Compliance. The word compliance. Last week we spoke about conditioning. And this program is uh, more uh, a follow on from last week. It, the, these two actually ties in together. So if you haven't uh, seen the program for, for last week, I would encourage you uh, to go to my channel and look it up and give it a watch. And so that you will more understand uh, what we are talking about here. So the topic today is compliance. Uh, this is the action or fact of complying with a wish or command. Of course, the word compliance, it comes from uh, the word comply, to comply, uh, which means act in accordance with a wish or command. In other words, uh, when you comply, you obey. You are in obedience to someone. When someone tells you to, uh, to do something uh, and you do it, you are complying. So the word compliance, the action or fact of complying with a wish or command. Now, you would ask, why are you talking, are you talking about these words and you, you're not coming straight forward to say uh, exactly what you mean? Um, the reason is, is that there are things that people need to hear from the Lord himself. And it's okay most times when someone tells you something, uh, but there are certain things that if you are told by another, another person, you won't really get it that much, uh, or you prob probably uh, won't accept it the way that you should. And so when you hear it from the Lord, through the Holy Spirit, that is when it hits you. That is when it, it really sinks into your spirit. So it is good. And this is why, you know, it is so important for us to be seeking God for ourselves at all times so that we can hear from him and not getting secondhand information all the time, not depending on secondhand information. Uh, hearing from God, everyone can hear from God. So don't think, oh, I have to be listening to pastor, I have to be listening to apostle, I have to be listening to, to minister or whoever. You can hear God for yourself. The same way these people, other people can hear from God, uh, you also can hear from God just the same. So seek God so that you can hear from him. So just like last week, this program, it calls for discernment. Discernment you get from God. How do you get discernment? You ask God for it. You tell him you want to be discerning so that you can know what is happening around you, so that you can tune in your ears uh, to what God is saying to you through his Holy Spirit. So this program calls for discernment, just like last week. Why? And I will remind you again from the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 11. Uh, it says, so, so that Satan will not outsmart us, for we are familiar with his evil schemes. Again, we can only see what is coming if we are attentive to the Holy Spirit. The enemy, he is coming at us uh, because he knows he's, he has a short time, so he's not very happy right now. So he is all out trying to get Christians to fall all out trying to get Christians to fail. So we have to be very much discerning as Christians so that we do not fall uh, to his temptations, fall to his trap, so that he does not outsmart us with his schemes and tricks. Let us be attentive to God. So let us look at this word compliance, which is the action or fact of complying with a wish or command. Think is anyone trying to get you to comply? Are you acting in compliance to any individual or any corporation or any organization or even the state? Think about this word very seriously today. 
Why? Because the thing is, as you know, when someone wants you to be in compliance, full compliance with them, they will start uh, to try to get you to comply with little things first. You know, they will uh, come with you with small, maybe something that you may think it's not uh, so significant, so it's okay. And uh, they keep building on that. The, the more you comply with them with these little requests, when they come with the real request, the big one, then it becomes so much more easier for you to comply with them. So let us think about this today. Let us ask God to show us what he wants us to see through this word compliance. What is happening around us that we need to open our eyes and our ears to. Revelation chapter 3 verse 6 tells us anyone with ears to hear must listen to the Spirit and understand what he is saying. You have ears to hear, listen. Don't shut them off, don't allow them to be blocked off. But open your ears, listen to the Spirit, and understand what He is saying. As I said before, we spoke about conditioning last week. But after conditioning comes compliance. In other words, when you are conditioned, when someone or uh, uh, an entity is, is, is able to uh, condition you you will eventually comply to them so these that is why I said earlier uh, these two actually works together because it comes uh, as a stage first condition you then you will comply it becomes so much easier for you to comply conditioning comes before compliance after you are being conditioned you know what would normally cause you to raise an eyebrow and wonder it, it would it would now seem normal you know what you would normally see as being wrong now becomes okay and the thing and the right thing to do or the right thing to say because you have been conditioned in a way that you start to see things the other way or the wrong way around you start to see things the way that the enemy that the devil himself wants you to see them so it's very important that we seek God about these things these last two program uh, concerning conditioning and compliance is very important especially in these times as I said before the enemy he can very much outsmart us if we don't listen to the Spirit and understand what He's trying to say and show us today. Conditioning blocks the voice and conviction of the Holy Spirit. The less you hear from God, is the easier it becomes for you to be compliant. Let us be very vigilant and wake up today God is warning us not to open the door for the enemy. Don't open the door for him. Ephesians chapter 6 verse 11 tells us as it says last week, put on all of God's armor so that you will not so that you will be able to stand firm against all strategies of the devil. Put on all of God's armor. Read the book of Ephesians chapter 6 from verse 11 go down to about verse 18 or so it will tell you all about those armor that you need to always have on go and read that book is very important for us to know and understand these things you see if you give the devil an inch he will very easily take a mile and even more don't give him a loophole don't give him any a any leeway at all because if you do he will very easily open it up to something much more bigger something you cannot eventually eventually handle so let us be smart about it it is time for us to wake up and to be alert it is time for us to be 
discerning in these last days. Romans chapter 13, verses 11 and 12, Jesus is saying to us today, this is all the more urgent, for you know how late it is. Time is running out. Wake up, for our salvation is nearer now than when we first believed. The night is almost gone. The day of salvation will soon be here. So remove your dark deeds like dirty clothes and put on the shining armor of right living. Very strongly, God is reminding us today that time is running out. Our salvation is nearer now than when we first believe. We have been hearing about this for so long. And I want to submit to you today that every day that passes and even every second that passes, that it brings us closer to our salvation, closer to the soon coming of Jesus Christ. All the more for us to be more vigilant, to be more alert, to be more discerning so that we will not be outsmarted by the enemy, by the devil himself, that he is trying to do to us. Because he wants us to go to hell with him, he wants nothing more than to get every human being, especially those of us who say we are following Jesus Christ. He wants to get us to go to hell. So think about that today. Do you want to be outsmarted? Do you want to allow uh, the, the, uh, the world and the things of the world and what is going on around you to hold you back from heaven and to cause you to cross over into eternity to go to hell? I'm sure that you do not. So let us listen to what the Spirit is saying today and understand what he's trying to tell us, understand what he's trying to show us. Think about those words, pray, seek God, and ask him about these two very important things, conditioning and compliance. So I will leave you with that thought today. Seek God for yourself. Hear what the Spirit is saying. And before I come to a close, I want to share the message of salvation to anyone who is out there watching or listening. You have not yet received Jesus Christ as a Lord and Savior. There is no better time than now to do that. I'm sure that you're, you're, you know, you're watching this uh, because you were drawn to it in some way. And I want to tell you that it is not an accident. There is no coincidences like that because God through his Holy Spirit pulls us. This is how God draws us, try to uh, pull us into him. And so if you are watching, it is uh, very much so by design. So listen to what God is saying. All of us, we need salvation. You want to get to heaven and you want to escape hell. You need salvation. All of us all of us the scripture says in romans chapter 3 verse 10 that no one is righteous not even one why because for everyone has sinned we all fall short of god's glorious standard so how can we get to heaven if we are all sinners if we can't you know attain this standard we can get to heaven why because jesus came and did what we could not have ever done. What he did, he purchased the ticket that we need for us with his blood, with his own human life. That is what he did when he came to this world over 2,000 years ago, when he died on that cross. It was to atone for our sins. It was to pay for our way to get to heaven. So all we need to do is to accept him, to accept what he did. So do that today. Jesus is our way to heaven. He is the way, the truth, the life. No one can get to the Father except through 
him. Jesus is the only way. Don't be deceived by others that will tell you that there are other ways that you can get to heaven, that there are things you can do. It is only through faith in Jesus Christ and what he did that you can be saved. If you fail to understand this, if you fail to not acknowledge him, to receive him, then you will have to suffer the consequences, of course. For the wages of sin is death. That is what Romans chapter 6 verse 23 tells us. Death, that's eternal separation from God in hell for all eternity. Suffering and in torment. But the verse, that very verse goes on to tell, tell us what the good news is. It says, but the free gift of God is eternal life through Christ Jesus our Lord. The free gift. It is a free gift. Let that word, those two words sink in. Free gift. Nothing you can uh, pay for or earn or, or whatever the case is. It's just a free gift. This is what God wants to give you, salvation on a plate, as a free gift. All you need to do is to receive it. Romans chapter 10, verses 9 to 10, it says, If you openly declare that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. 4 verse 10 says, It is by believing in your heart that you are made right with God and it is by openly declaring your faith that you are saved. This is very simple, very very simple. Voice it, receive it, believe it sorry and receive it. Voice it, believe it and you will receive this free gift that God wants to give you right now does not matter who you are. Romans chapter 10 verse 13 tells us just that. It says, For everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. Everyone, no one is exempted. Everyone, anyone can have this opportunity today to receive Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior of their soul. And He will wash you. He will make you right before God. He will give you your ticket to heaven today. Jesus is our shining light in a world that is growing darker and darker by the day. He says in John chapter 12 verse 46, I have come as a light to shine in this dark world so that all who put their trust in me will no longer remain in the dark. Put your trust in Jesus Christ today before it is too late. Salvation is still available. That window of opportunity is here now. Don't allow it to close without you taking advantage of it. Come to Jesus Christ today. He's coming back very soon. He says in Revelation, I am coming quickly. He is coming quickly. Let us move now. Let us move on this now before it is too late. Ask him to come into your heart. Ask him to save you, to forgive you of all of your sins. And he will hear you. And he will certainly answer you. He will receive you into his arms today as you say that prayer. It, he will not delay. He will not wait. He, he wants nothing more than for you to come to him right now. So all you need to do is to do just that come to Jesus Christ come to Jesus Christ with a sincere heart and he will hear and receive you today on that note I want to thank you for joining me today thank you for watching thank you for listening and I'll see you next time if there is a next time God richly bless you and goodbye don't forget that to contact me for any reason you can find me on Facebook by searching for Curtis Minister Roach Minister Curtis Roach or our page The End Time Watchman Just leave me a message and I'll reply at my earliest Also subscribe to my YouTube channel and be blessed by the hundreds of videos available to you
Please feel free to share any video to help us spread the good news of Jesus Christ. You can also follow me on Twitter at Roach underscore Curtis. Should the Lord continue to tarry, see you next time. God bless. Hear the father says, yeah, it's coming in. Don't get left behind. Don't get left behind. Boy. The rat, yeah, it's coming. Don't get left behind. Don't get left behind.